the Logan Paul and George Janko beef is something that has remained a mystery now for a while, trying to really understand the full picture of why George Janko left one of the most popular podcasts in the world. And things are becoming even more clear through a variety of new statements and stories about George Janko, including George runs into a fellow impulsive co-host after all this beef and we get some pretty interesting insight into everything that is still going on. So what do we have already? Well, we know that Logan Paul being the absolute bellend he is, went after George Janko because he is very religious. One that really hurt me is you told me I need a therapist because I believe in Jesus. No, that I one didn't. hurt me. No, I didn't. I said, you need a therapist because Jesus isn't quite doing it for you, no, you which, is, no, which you is true. No, you didn't. I and said, I, I don't want to stand down. Going as far as to question the religion, disrespect the religion, and call out George for not being emotionally intelligent due to being religious. It is common knowledge that you don't interpret reality like reality happens. Mm -hmm. When you think George needs a therapist, what category am I following? Emotional under? intelligence. Emotional, me. Yes. I'm not emotionally intelligent. Could you could you pick a time and frame any day of sure. our life? Here's one. Three weeks ago when you were sitting in that chair, you stormed off this exact podcast because you were upset about something a comedian said. Uh, no, I was upset that I finally discussed. Listen, I just I was... answered your question. I'm not looking for rationalization about the thing. I just answered your question. I'm not. I'm going to jump in on that one. I'm not sure that that's representative of emotional intelligence. What I've examined and witnessed in your behavior I don't think the prayer is doing enough. Imagine Logan Paul, the guy who ripped off and scammed his fans, telling you, you aren't emotionally intelligent. And while we're talking about Logan Paul's shady ways, I've had a lot of respect for George before, but ever since he really stepped up when no one else did against Logan Paul to his face about the crypto zoo victims, I gained even more respect. So what do you say to the people that uh, watched you make um, the 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 project where you're taking pictures and all the other projects. Yeah. How does it feel for you in your seat where you your team saying, hey, shut up, don't bring this up. We're going to bring this back in the future and, and all the answers will be explained. How does it feel knowing that you couldn't speak up in time and now you look like this villain and no disrespect, you look like a piece of shit to the people yeah. that are like, yo, fuck this guy sitting on millions of dollars, always trying to get attention and now he doesn't give a fuck about us, so he's not going to speak out about it until this other fuck dude's going to speak out. And now this sucker is going to talk now. George made sure on that specific podcast that Logan didn't try and just blame the victims or Coffeezilla. And, you know, cracks started to emerge between George and Logan Paul, especially during the episode with Bobby Lee, when George walked off the podcast. There was certain... He, he is clocked out. Yeah, no, yeah, I know, I know. George has been under a tremendous me, amount of abuse. No, no, George, George, George. No, no, stop, George. I want you over here with me. George, I want you over here with me. Chase him down. Go. You find him. George, no, go get him. Go get him. He, I try, I said, this, he walked, and that's a first, and now we're going to have to deal with the fallout Mike, Mike, of this Mike, episode for the Logan, next two Mike. months. I swear to God, Bobby Lee, you Pissed off my co-host. He's probably crying in the driveway. Obviously, George being a comedian probably shouldn't have done that. If you're a comedian, you should be able to take jokes. But the way Logan went about the aftermath of it and, you know, it's his friend. He, he is clocked out. You could tell there were definite cracks. And, you know, we all know George left the podcast. And after this, you know, Logan Paul started disrespecting George, saying sly comments like, if he had a show no one watched, it would be like George Janko's show. We don't, we don't acknowledge him enough. Uh... We love you guys. We love you guys. Seriously, without you, this would be nothing. I didn't know we were doing this right now. But I'm sorry. I, I, I just no. I get it. I I love this outlet. I love this outlet, and it exists because people watch. And without people watching, I I just have a show like. <laughs> um, here's other clips of Logan going after George live today. More than I'd like to admit, who have the same collective intelligence as cavemen. <laughs> I, no, no, no. They're like worse. the same. The only worse. difference is there's worse. technology and stuff. No, no, that makes it worse. That's why I said worse mm. because they don't even realize how addicted they are to their phones. They're literally like they don't exist. Well, I, I could I could argue that they don't. <laughs> was was they're, he? They're they're there, but like they're, they're there. actually a negative input to the world uh, they're, they're net negative was he yeah. going is he thinking about the same person i'm thinking about i don't know oh, if he's I'm thinking about, about like billions of people <laughs> who are you talking about abby say the name we'll believe it the, for our for our oh, oh my god oh oh oh, oh. oh. He's, he's no he's doing no no don't don't, don't it's clear that this breakup 
was fiery and Logan wasn't taking it too well to his ego. George slowly started to reveal bits about this breakup. On Harry Mandel's podcast, he said they were making him out to be someone he wasn't. My biggest fear is that I worked this hard to leave and people made me out to be a man I'm not and that I had to exit being a man I wasn't proud of because of editing or certain ways they try to paint me. And then even more shocking, the revelation was that legally, George said he couldn't speak about it. Curious now, what is the biggest um, misconception of you and what happened there that y you, uh, that bothered you? And it's not true. And maybe they got that misconception because of the way you were editorialized uh, or... I'm really not, they, they very much made it clear that I'm not allowed to speak up about things. So I, I can't even. Legally? Yeah. You can tell George was really hurt by Logan and his actions. And more recently now, George went on Jake Paul's podcast and started divulging more about Logan and what actually went down. Firstly, George said they just constantly had disagreement. Obviously, this is all coming off of impulsive. <laughs> If you don't mind me asking, where did things stand with you and, and Logan and the relationship there? Uh, just agreements. Uh, just like how you disagree with them, right? But I feel like you guys are, might be a little tighter because you guys are blood, right? You can't get rid of blood. Right? Yeah. Uh, as much as I've seen you guys try, you guys tried hard. Yeah. But uh, uh, I think it was just the, we had personal issues between each other. And it's hard because, it, it's hard because my love never left, right? And when you go around the world and people are dapping you, I'll be like, hey, yo, fuck Logan. Like that. And I'm like, go, like, chill. Like, that's that's still the guy that opened up the doors for me and he took care of me. So, like, it's hard. I don't forget where I come from. Mm. And also, it's like all the mm. other memories that people don't see is very good memories. And I, it, to me, it was just like, we're, we'll get around to this at some point. Which you watch the Bobby Lee podcast or Logan talking about George's religion, you can definitely see they weren't really getting on anymore and... I don't blame George for not getting on with Logan because he's an ignorant fuck and only has his interests at heart. He doesn't seem to care about the people who are actually around him. George then makes this really interesting point about how, because Logan was always above him in like the industry way, like Logan was way bigger, more famous, that he kind of felt like now he had to prove himself to, that he didn't need Logan so that when they had a conversation together, Logan wouldn't think that it's out of anything but love. Whereas before, George thinks that maybe Logan thought it would be more transactional sometimes. My plan was this. I think in the back of Logan's mind, regardless of how he thinks and regardless of what I've done as a friend, I think the, the aspect of him being above me in the industry, in his mind, he'll always think, well, he's only sticking around and it's because he gets something out of this. So in my mind, I was like, all right, fuck this. I'm out. And when I come back, I'm going to show you I'm stronger and I don't need you. And that way, when we do have a conversation, you know it's only out of love. And I only mm. want to be here because of the relationship. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. I mean, this to me is quite sad um, that George felt like that. He needed to do that. I mean, fair play. I like the mindset. But how much of a prick does Logan have to be to make his friends feel inferior to him and that they need to go out and prove themselves just to be on the same level as him. I'm not surprised someone like George would feel like that, especially because Logan Paul seems like such a narcissist who values only clout and money, as we've seen in his past actions with CryptoZoo, Liquid Marketplace, all these schemes and ventures he's tried cooking up. Jake then chimes in saying that they uh, think they should be friends and that it can be fixed. Yeah, I, I feel like when, when you guys were going through that i just like didn't believe it at first yeah he kept texting me he's like this is a prank right you guys are like gassing up the show like, yeah and i was like because why and it doesn't seem like necessary but also you guys are so passionate both of you and i don't know i just always was like yeah they're gonna be friends again and figure it out and i do still believe that i think at some point they'll be putting Differences aside, and there's nothing, nothing can't be fixed. And that's what I would like to see. You know, showing that their issues have not been resolved. If I was George, I would stay as far away as I can from that freak Logan 
as possible. George Janko has been absolutely like crushing it since he left Logan's podcast, which is an amazing thing to see. Most notably is Andrew Tate video, which has gotten way over now 10 million views and his channel is definitely on the rise since he left Logan's podcast, which is, you know, fantastic to see because Logan was trying to make digs like this at George. People watch and without people watching, I'm, I just have a show like um now on his own back on his own merit george is actually doing well so he's officially beaten logan paul so let's talk about george running into mike since this beef happened recently very recently so mike goes on his podcast and details his story about how he ran into george on an airplane just completely out of the blue mike says george reached his hand out you know it was like nothing ever happened. Um, I ran into George the other day. I know you probably weren't going to say it because it was. I'm not going to say it. I, I you, you could yeah. say it. I'm not. Gonna so I texted it. you about it. Um, obviously, um, it was the first time I'd seen him since everything had happened. Um, I was on a plane down here and I was sitting in my seat and you know texting and I look up and there he what is. What is the chance? And um, and so I see him on the plane with with Bell in tow, and uh, and you know I think he didn't really know what to say, and I I just I was just in shock. So I just I did the only thing that felt natural to me, which was I stood up and I put my hand out. You know, and I just put my hand out and he shook my hand and we smiled at each other and it was it was like nothing had ever happened. And 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 told Mike he's excited for the future, he's in a better place mentally. Flight, so the flight lands, we get off and we have this we have this conversation and it it, it literally was like nothing had changed. I mean, it was. Yo, congr I just want to tell you guys congratulations, and and um, he's got big plans for the show, and and um, you know I told him, dude, congratulations on the Tate shows. Like he he told me that he's just in a in a better place now. He's in a better place mentally. Um, he's excited about the future because, as we all know, uh, when you are misaligned with your purpose in life, that brings along problems. You know, it seems like a pleasant interaction, and Mike always seemed like as much as I don't rate the guy with the george stuff especially mike always seemed like a bit of a middleman didn't seem to take logan's side sometimes all the time don't get me wrong mike knows where his bread is fucking buttered but there were instances and glimmers of mike sticking up for george and i'm not sure that that's representative of emotional intelligence george has been under a tremendous me, amount of abuse. No, no, george, 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 george. no 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 stop george i want you over here with me george i want you over here with me. and then this is what is most interesting is one of these interviewers asks what would happen if Logan was on the plane with George? Mike just tries not to answer the question at all and just deflects it by saying, yeah, well, you know, they got each other Christmas cards. Hypothetical. Let's say you're sitting there, you're on the flight, and it's you and Logan sitting on the flight, first class, 1A, 1B, George walks in. How would that situation been different? Logan would have bought the plane and kicked everybody off. Uh -huh. No, so no, so evident, no, so evidently, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, so evident and not, you know, <laughs> Evidently, they're talking too. Okay. Evidently, there's their conversations there too, and they've been and they've been you know exchanging Christmas cards. I will say I didn't get a Christmas card from either of you guys. So that's messed up. Hey, they dude. both got each other's wow. Christmas cards. So like you know like it is what it is. But uh, but yeah, like I I have a feeling that um, it's just one of those situations in life that worked out the way it worked out and everyone will be better or at the very least different as a result of it so yeah not much of a confident answer from mike there of what would have went down if they bumped into each other if things are even gonna be resolved or can be resolved because it seems like things have cut pretty deep for george well, i will say though if george gets logan on his podcast that will do absolute crazy fucking numbers mike earlier gave a bit more insight as well into the george janko versus logan and like the separating from the podcast saying that george's you know values and what he wanted to preach and talk about didn't align with impulsive in the show so that why that's why he felt there was a bit of friction that there there was as i mentioned earlier in in what george kind of stands for that that is so uh ingrained in his being it is so innate and and real and authentic in him that it is it is his life's purpose to push the work of the Lord to uh, push the ideas of of um, conservative conservatism and traditionality and family unit and 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 monogamy, um, which is incredible. 
but but I think that I think that that's not to say that those values are not important to Logan or to me, but that's not necessarily what that show is about. And Mike goes on to say that apparently that would really mess with George because that's what he really wanted to do and felt like he should have been doing with his life. But I think that that kind of, um, I think it really erred, uh, uh, messed with George even more because he, because he wants, to, he wa he knows that he should be doing that stuff, talking about that stuff, prioritizing that stuff. I personally think that George added a great perspective to Impulsive. You had Mike and Logan who were just the airheads, but George would actually give valuable insight. And like he did with the CryptoZoo stuff, give a perspective that maybe wasn't popular with Michael Logan, but would challenge them and talk to them about real shit. I think Mike and Logan probably were threatened by that, if I'm honest. Mike says as well that, you know, there was a lot of regrets and things could definitely have been handled differently. In hindsight, everything can be done differently. Every There could be a little tweak here. There could be a little tweak there. Um, he had already started his his own show, which as you all know, is has become extremely successful. Um, and... Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, there were conversations that happened that were that were in my eyes looking back, they could have been done a lot better. There were there were conversations that involved religion, there were conversations that involved um you know, George's feelings and George's sentiment towards uh how he was being treated by guests that were on our show um that were that potentially could have been overlooked. Um, I, I Which, yeah, you can completely see, and I agree with, from what I've seen of George. I have spoke to George very, very briefly. He commented about a video I made in a very positive way, thanking me for making these videos. And it was nice to interact with him. He just seems like a really pleasant, nice guy. And, you know, all power to him, leaving Logan and Mike. Logan mainly because... You know, the further away from Logan Paul, the better. Like the video if you think George did the right thing and you prefer George over Logan. Comment below your opinion. I'm reading all the comments. Subscribe if you're new. Loads of videos coming. And until next time, fuck off.